please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain quiet for the minute of silence. Happy New Year, Chantilly. I'm Natalia Miranda. And I'm Kaylin Rowell. Today is Wednesday, January 12th, 2022. And here are your morning announcements. Today's an A day with LS2. Tomorrow is a B day. Varsity and JV Wrestling has an away meet at Oakton tonight at 6. Only family members will be allowed in the audience. If you have an announcement you would like to submit to the nightly news, there is a request form linked in the description of our shows on YouTube. You can also email chs.tkn at gmail.com. Mark your calendars for the upcoming children's show, Magic in the Attic. CHS Drama will have performances January 28th through the 30th. Tickets can be purchased at chantillyhsdrama.com or at the door. Attention all gamers and non-gamers alike. The shows that you have been playing have been benefiting you right under your nose. Research has challenged the stereotype of isolated gamers. However, 70% of gamers play with a friend or family. Video games create an environment for those who have social anxiety to learn the skills needed to communicate with others in the real world. Benefits from video games, um, honestly, like the main ones would be like uh, hand-eye coordination. When you're playing, uh, especially like first-person shooters, and you have to move your mouse to like react to different targets and stuff, you get really good hand-eye coordination. Um, you get to spend a lot of time with your friends, which is why I got a lot more into video games over quarantine because there wasn't a whole lot to do and I still wanted to talk to my friends, so we played video games. Uh, I think that video games along with exercise just uh, give you a mental break from a lot of the stresses of the world. Also, there's just a lot of fun. You, you remember a lot of good memories, believe it or not, um, especially when you can play with friends online. According to a long-term study in 2013, children's creativity was actually affected by puzzle games, RPGs, and more. They also found that this benefit was not present when using other devices such as computers and cell phones. Educators have started integrating video games into their teaching so their students have a new approach to learning. Being able to spend time with your friends, whether you're playing competitively or just chilling out, uh, it's definitely really big to have like a social aspect and my favorite game right now is Valorant. Um, a lot of my friends are playing it, it's pretty fun. It's like, there's strategy involved as well as like mechanical skills, so I'm having a lot. The historian in me loves uh, any Assassin's Creed games because they do such a fantastic job contextualizing the history behind it, and you actually learn quite a lot. Uh, even with the stigma around games, players can still find comfort among their peers through video games. This has been Noah Johnson and Naren Koda for the Nightly News, now back to you. Thanks, Noah and Naren. Don't forget to take breaks while gaming. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Natalia Miranda and Kaylin Rowell reminding you to stay positive, stay masked, and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.